So two large issues pending for Pompeo right off the bat. One is the upcoming meeting between Kim Jong-un and President Trump, and two is the Iran nuke deal. Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Uh, Barry, I think Tillerson, from what I saw, was maybe the sole reason why the Iran nuke deal is not in the paper shredder right now. Graham, there's absolutely no question. Donald Trump ran on one of the main platform promises to tear up the nuke deal or drastically redo it. Tillerson got uh, co-opted by the State Department and turned out to be the reason why the deal is still in place. Pompeo will make a very big change on how we deal with Iran going forward. There's no doubt about it. And, and Tillerson was also in favor of keeping the, the Paris Climate Accord, which is, you know, this nonsense global distribution, redistribution of wealth. Uh, meantime, there is more tariff talk, uh, Barry, out there from this White House and the markets are reacting in not a very good way right now. Well, you gotta look at it from the big picture. Uh, Trump's a businessman through and through. He looks at the fact that we run almost a third of a trillion dollar trade deficit with China because they create goods that get imported into the United States openly and they don't give us free access to their markets. It's not a level playing field. It's costing America millions of jobs because we can't get into that market. They double and triple some of the costs of products to the Chinese consumers, and we let them in with an open door. Trump is trying to level that out. I think it's time that we deal with China in other ways as well, and that is through the banking and, and currency manipulation, which really hasn't been touched yet. Hopefully, that's a third rail that will be touched. Now, at the United States Supreme Court, there's an interesting case right now. It is South Dakota versus Wayfair, which essentially boils down to whether or not entities, as in government entities, can tax sales on the internet. It's mind boggling. This could have a billion dollar impact per state if the Supreme Court changes things. Quite frankly, the taxes are not being collected except on a voluntary basis, mostly by Amazon. If the states win this case, there are somewhere between 20 and 30 billion dollars in immediate tax revenue that will be leveled on these sales. And then, Graham, the fight will start between the states because they've all got different kinds of taxes pending. Yeah. Who gets to collect? Where the state sold it, where it was shipped from, or where the ultimate consumer is? Believe me, even if the Supreme Court says the tax is okay, the fight will continue state to state to see who gets 20 to 30 billion dollars in new tax revenue. And even bigger picture, this is why the FCC undid the whole net neutrality thing. This is about freedom of the internet and freedom from government control and innovation and freedom, by the way, I would add, from taxation. Barry, thanks.